Hey everyone, and welcome to update video 134. This week is mainly about bug fixing, as we've got lots of work on optimization and the netcode going on behind the scenes. But also this week, we're bringing you some new tools which are mainly aimed at modders. You can find these new tools in the tools folder of your game install directory. The first tool is the animation controller editor which allows you to create animation controllers in a graphical user interface and even debug animations live in the game. But please note that this tool is currently only for character animation modding. The second tool is the testing tool. It was created to help us internally test certain scenarios and to see the outcome of a series of events after we've made a change or updated certain aspects of our games. Modders can now use this tool to see how changes to their code of their mods or scripts can affect the outcome of a particular save game. It works by recording player input and then taking a screenshot at the end of that particular session, which can later be compared after you've made changes to a mod to see if the changes have affected that outcome. If you would like to see the full documentation for either one of these tools, please see the links in the description box below. Moving on to bug fixes and improvements. This week we fixed the autopilot not being able to turn itself off, but also not being able to descend below 60 meters on planets. Another major bug fix this week was piston heads, rotor heads and wheels detaching when reloading a world. For the full list of bug fixes, tweaks and improvements, please see the change log on our forums. But that's everything for this week, guys. I'll see you next week. And now I'll end the quote, and then after that, I'll leave you with a short sneak peek. Arguing with an engineer is like wrestling with a pig in the mud. After a few hours, you realize they like it.